Hello, and welcome back again to Mr. Ryder's Speed Map. Today we're going to be examining some more of the specifics of fractions. We've covered addition, subtraction, we've covered multiplication, we've covered division. The next section of this particular lesson is improper fractions, mixed numbers, simplest form, oh my. Now these things are all confusing to most, most kids that I have come in through the class in ninth grade, and I'm sure they're even more confusing to the parents out there that are watching this. So for both my parents and my students, we're going to clarify some of these issues today. Hopefully they'll be able to reference back to this lesson and it'll help them prepare for their final exam and any tests that we have over the next com coming few weeks. So let's start off with improper fractions. In our previous lesson, we had an answer. We were multiplying fractions and dividing them. And one of our answers, we ended up with an improper fraction. So we'll, let's do an example here. We got three over four. And let's say we go times, mm, what do you say we go with, um, this is going to be difficult, we'll go 3 over 2. Okay? Now we know when we multiply, we go straight across for the numerator and straight across for the denominator. So our answer here is going to be 9 over 8. This is an improper fraction. And while this is an acceptable answer, and I would not mark this wrong in a test, sometimes I will ask them to change this to a mixed number. Now, most of you know that this division sign in English means to divide. 9 over 8, or 9 divided by 8. So in class, and your students will have seen this before, I always put this little arrow here and I ask them, how many times does 8 go into the number 9? And the answer, of course, is 1. Now, they certainly have the use of their calculator, and they can do this with a calculator, 9 divided by 8. But oftentimes, they'll get a decimal in, in, in addition to the whole number. So I, I rely on their ability to kind of understand the general concept of numbers and understanding that 8 goes into 9 one time. And then their ability to determine and figure out that there's a remainder of 1. Well, the remainder of 1 is a small one, and it goes right here. The only thing left to do is bring this 8, which is on the bottom of this fraction, is to bring it over here and put it with that. And so this improper fraction has now become a mixed number, 1 and 1 8. Now before I let you go, I'm going to do one other fraction here, one other problem, so that we can kind of just reinforce what we've just discussed here. Let's say my fraction here is 5 over 7. And I multiply this fraction um, by 5 over 3. My answer here, of course, will be 25 over, oops, that's a mistake, be 25 over 21. So how many times does 21 go into the number 25? And we all know that that goes in one whole time. And there would be a remainder of 4. So you put the little 4 here, and you bring the 21 there. And so this is your answer in the form of a mixed number. Okay?